What's up everybody? This is a first generation pixel that's stuck on the Google logo. It won't load the operating system. I get this Google screen for a while, then it turns off, then it loads that screen again, and it repeats over and over. This is known as the boot loop. The fix that I'm going to use in this video can potentially work on any other Android phone that is in a boot loop condition. First, I tried to factory reset the phone. I got into the bootloader mode by holding the volume down plus the power button and just keep pressing it until this screen pops up. Then you toggle to the recovery option and this phone just wouldn't do it. It goes back to the Google screen. So that means that we have a hardware problem. Something is wrong with the memory chip where the operating system is stored. So let's try to bring it back to life by reflowing the solder balls on the memory chip using some flux and some hot air. Unfortunately, to access the motherboard on this phone, you have to remove the screen. I have a video on how to do this on this specific phone. Check the video description for a link if you're interested. On one side of the motherboard, you have the SD card reader. The memory chip is located on the other side of the board, the side without the SD card reader. This shield is clipped from the sides. You have to pry out the sides and remove the shield. Okay, here's the memory chip. Here's a close-up of the memory chip. You don't have to do this, but I use some aluminum foil to protect the other nearby components from the heat. Let's add some flux. I'm using a cheap hot air station. It cost me $40. I set it to 400 degrees Celsius, but I don't even know if it actually reaches that temp. The airspeed is set to about four, I believe. Let's give that chip some heat. I heated the chip for about 30 seconds, I believe. All right, the phone is partially back together. The screen is not sealed. When I turned it on, I felt it vibrate, which is something it didn't do before. But then the battery icon showed up and the phone didn't turn on at all. Notice that the battery icon isn't charging. It's only showing a solid battery icon. I checked my cables, power buttons, battery, charger, the screen. Still, the same result. So I ordered a replacement battery from eBay to see if that will get the phone to turn on. Yes, the phone turned on, but it was stuck on the Google screen. Maybe because not everything is plugged in. I fully reassembled the phone with the cameras and all the sensors plugged in. Boom, look at that. It's loading the operating system. But it got stuck here. I restarted the phone and accidentally loaded it into safe mode. I'm skipping everything. Let's get it out of safe mode. I turned off the phone and now you can actually see that the battery is charging. I turned the phone back on and here it is working again. The phone is back to life with a simple reflow of the memory chip. And guess what happened a week later? Yeah, that's right. It's back to boot looping. There is no way to know how long that phone will last until the memory chip fails. You see, the solder balls are good right now, but that memory chip is several years old and it can fail at any time. So take the opportunity to back up your stuff if you ever get your device working using this method. Well, I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comments section and I'll see you in the next one.